What if I showed you a way to build a greenhouse where you could grow food year round, enough to feed your family? And what if I showed you how I did it with very limited monetary investment? I don't want to be confined to crazy weather patterns to decide what I'm going to grow or not grow. They can barely predict the weather 24 hours ahead. So how do we know what the weather is going to be in 40 years? Do you know? The computer models sure don't. I live in Colorado Springs. My place is 6,400 feet above sea level. Gardening at high elevation is difficult and challenging. And our frost-free growing days appear to be shrinking. Now late April, but we're almost into May. I guess we're stuck with this. This is our new normal. I find this frustrating. I built this greenhouse in 2014, and it seems like year over year, our snows come later and later, all the way into Mother's Day, maybe Memorial Day. Ten and a half inches. So far, it's supposed to snow all day. And I end up covering my plants just to keep them alive. I knew when I built this that I could extend my season a little bit, but now it's getting hard. I start my plants inside, put them in the greenhouse, and they still sometimes die. As you can see, inside my greenhouse, it's only 40 degrees. I have all my plants started and I have to keep them covered up. So yes, it does buy me a few degrees in the greenhouse, probably about 10, maybe 15 Fahrenheit, which is about 10 degrees Celsius warmer. But tonight's going to be super cold again and so if I don't have my plants covered all day and all night they're just going to die and that'll be the second crop I lose again this year. There has to be a better way. Through a lot of research I found out that our earth is like a climate battery. You dig down six feet and the temperature just stays between 52 to 55 Fahrenheit which equates to about 10 to 12 degrees Celsius. It's warm enough to keep even tropical plants growing. Then we use the heat from the sun as it warms up the greenhouse, so we just circulate it right through the ground. And we keep a consistent temperature of about 65 to probably 70 degrees. That's almost 20 degrees Celsius. So plants can thrive in that environment year round. I would love to show you the process of how I did this start to finish. I want the freedom to grow whatever I want, and then I make that choice of what I feed myself and feed my family. I want my family to be healthy. So I switched over to growing everything organic, fruits and vegetables, free of pesticides and not genetically modified. And trust me, they taste so much better. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be stressed out about supply chain issues, at the mercy of food shortages, or eating dried food out of a bucket. Do you feel the same way? Am I the only one that feels like this? I'll bet not. I think there's millions of us out here that want the ability and the options to grow our own food. So I invite you to come along this journey with me. We're going to have courses and we're going to show you how we did everything. We're also going to have a lot of free video content. How do we grow? Can we grow off grid? We're going to look at each of these energy sources, solar, wind, and hydropower. Are renewable energy sources dependable and worth the investment? Or are they too cost prohibitive? Can we use all of them together, or are we going to use them separately? Are we going to need battery banks, and how many? We'll break it all down for you, step by step, even through our mistakes, to the systems that work really well. Stay tuned, and hang on for the ride. We have a lot more free content coming. You'll be glad you did.